As a young journalist, Chorn Chansey had always aspired to work at the Cambodia Daily. But his career at the paper ended with its final headline. After 24 years of operation, the paper was forced to shut down last September when it could not afford to pay a $6.3 million tax bill. We bring the real issue. So it means like when we report the real thing, it will show to the people in the country, it will show to the, the world. So then they will understand, they will know what happened in this country. So then when we report the real thing, so it will make someone it's not happy. So then they do something to shut our mouth. Chorn believes tax was used as a weapon against the paper. Over the past year, it was one of several independent media outlets to be hit with a large tax bill or have licenses revoked. And it's not just independent media having difficulties. After a surge in popularity in the last national and local elections, the main political opposition, the Cambodian National Rescue Party, has been crushed. The party's leader, Kim Sokar, was imprisoned last September and is still being held on treason charges. Other opposition politicians say they have been beaten and intimidated. But it was in November, nine months before the election, that the final blow came, when the CNRP was dissolved by the Supreme Court and outlawed for conspiring with the United States to overthrow the government. There is now no credible opposition to run against the world's longest serving Prime Minister, Hun Sen, in Sunday's vote. He was once a Khmer Rouge commander, but switched sides during the war and is accused of orchestrating the crackdown on media and the opposition. But the government rejects those claims and says it's upholding the law. And legitimacy from law, not legitimacy from the people lips or from the I mean, super power lips, we don't do that. But to the outside world, it looks like you are punishing anyone or any media outlet that reports anything that goes against the government and you're using taxation as a weapon to do it. No, it's not true. It's not true. Since 1991, the international community has spent billions of dollars guiding Cambodia out of war and towards democracy. But with the opposition calling for a boycott and critics saying the cards are stacked in the Prime Minister's favour, there are fears Sunday's election could mark the beginning of the end for Cambodia's democracy.